Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if it's your first time. My name is Beachy Bunny and I know it's been a while. We've been having hurricane issues here in Florida. So I am back out here at Crystal River. I have not been to this location uh, since, oh my goodness, I think it's been like a month, two months. I've not been back here in two months and it is absolutely gorgeous out here. I am so excited, you know, to get started and catch me some crabs. I did go into Yankee Town earlier today and um, scout out some areas. And because it's low tide, I really didn't see the potential to go out there and crab because it was really low. So I'm out here. It's, I think the tide today is like negative six. But uh, we're gonna get out here and see if we can get some crabs today. So I am so ready for this adventure. I've been cooped up in the house since the hurricane. So it is time to catch some crabs. So stay tuned. the chicken out there so let's go ahead and do that I got this one baited guys I was out in the water you know just trying to put some sticks in the water for my lines the temperature of the water is dropping I don't know how much more you know how much longer the blue crabs are gonna be biting hard but you can definitely tell the temperature of the water has dropped since the hurricane so just keep that in mind once the water gets a certain degree they're not going to be biting as much so just fyi To wait I am excited hopefully I catch some good crabs out here um, this is the place where I caught my first um, how many crabs did I catch out here I think I caught 14 when I first started crabbing so I haven't been back yet because people started catching on and they started um, going on Google Maps and they found this place and every time I would pass it it would be just crawling with people but today there's nobody out here and it's on a Saturday. So I think people are just really still healing from the um, hurricane. Um, I'm gonna give this, like I said, a few hours and then I'm gonna move to another spot. But um, I did scout out some areas that I do wanna try when um, high tide is in. So I'm excited about that. Um, it's in Levy County. Um, it is quite a drive, um, but they look promising if the water was higher. So hopefully we go ahead and catch some crabs here and then we'll move on to the next um, location. Also, I did buy a uh, saltwater jig. Um, they said this one um, catches snook and redfish. So I'm gonna be fishing as well. So maybe I catch something today, you never know. All right, we're gonna check these. Um, So we're going to go ahead and toss him back.
wrap of the day. So excited. In the bucket he goes. He's very rusty too. Oh my goodness. And for those that are new, if you don't know what rusty is, that is what you call rusty right there. Whereas orange is brown, that means they haven't shedded yet, full of meat. So we're gonna leave him in here and we're gonna check the um the crab net. Guys, I was not filming, but look what I just snagged. He is huge. Oh my God, he's huge. And he has a female with him. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. Look how big he is. What? Can y'all see that? Oh, let me try to flip it around. Look how big this monster is. I have never caught anything this big in my life. Wow. Look how big his claw is. Holy crap. Let me get him in the bucket and I'll be right back. I am not even joking. This is the biggest crab I have ever caught. Look at them claws. Oh my gosh. Wow. What? If I had a ruler, I would, uh, I am just in, I am in utter shock. Utter shock how big this joker is. Like, what in the world? And I was about to leave because I was like, the crabbing sucks out here today. I was doing so good. But when you catch something that big, you gotta stay. That is amazing. Get in a size comparison. Look, at, this is my tongs. This is him. He is so big, I cannot even hold him. Look at his claw. Like, do y'all see this? Wow. He has got to be at least seven and a half. I, I don't know. I, wow. I gotta put him back in the bucket. Oh my gosh. He won't even let go of my, oh my gosh. <sighs> Just caught a double. My phone and my GoPro died. I don't know if they didn't charge last night, but I'm charging it in the car, so that's why it's near the car. But I just wanted to show y'all I got a double. All right, guys, we are back to POV, AKA the GoPro, since I don't want to miss another catch like that again. So we're going to go ahead and pull in the net. All right, one, two, three. Got a big one, guys! Woo! Oh my gosh. Y'all see that? Woo! Yeah! Holy crap! Look at that, guys! He's nice! Look how nice he is! Holy crap! Yeah! It is so pretty and windy out today. Very pretty. Hopefully we can catch some more fish. All right, I set one line over here in one basket since nobody's on this side either. I mean, there's just nobody out here. So um, I'm about to change the chicken on this one because I haven't changed the chicken since I got out here. But let's see if there's anything out here. All right, let's check this basket. I'm gonna get ready just in case they fall out. All right, well, I'll put my basket right here. All right, y'all ready? One, two, three. Oh, yeah! Whoa! Got one and he is huge. Look how big and pretty that one is. Yes, sir. Absolutely. I'm gonna just dump him in my, um, in my net and then I'll take him to the car. Look how beautiful. Look how big them claws is. Awesome. So I'm going to put it between my legs like this. 
I don't want to fumble this. So I'm just going to grab it from the bottom, toss him, and there you go. And now my basket is all good. We're going to go ahead. He's secure. Throw it back out there and we're good to go. All right, let's see what we have in our crab net. Damn it. Sorry, dang it. <laughs> All right. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Nothing, 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 nothing. Let's see if we have anything on our line. Ooh, it feels heavy. Unless I'm caught on a rock, it feels super heavy. So we gonna pull it in very, very slow. I don't know if it feels heavy or not. Maybe, hopefully some, something's on it. We're about to see. I did put a fresh chicken on there, so, and you know these crabs love fresh chicken. It still feels kind of heavy. I'm not sure. Hold on, we're gonna just wait. If you feel a tug, that means there's something still on there. Oh yeah, there's something still on there. All right, let's see. Oh, it feels so heavy. I don't know what it is. It feels heavy and then it'll let go. Oh my gosh. All right, I just got to get it closer to me so I can see. Oh, it feels extremely heavy. All right. I done stirred up all this dust in the water and I can't freaking see because of the sun. All right, we're trying to pull it up. Oh, something's on it. Something's pulling it. I see him. I see him. I see him. I see him. Okay, cool. Crab on. Nice. Nice. Oh my gosh. Look how pretty that is. Oh my goodness. Look how pretty. I wasn't having the greatest, you know, um, outcome out here, but I think it's going to change. I think slack tide is about to happen too, but I got, I got a few crabs, so I'm excited. Um, I didn't get some big ones. Like when I first got out here, they were small, which I threw two back that I caught. Um, they were just too small. Like I'm just, I know people like, Oh, um, five and up. Like sometimes the fives be so small. It's not worth eating. So I always try to get something big. Um, but uh, yeah, everything is starting to turn around. I still may make a move um, a little later on, but for now it's okay. So I'm still charging up my phone. That's why I'm filming at the car. And my GoPro um, is at like 74%. So I think I'll be okay with that. So, but anyways, I'm gonna get on back out here and uh, continue to crab and see what we get. Oh, I think we got a live one. It is pulling, 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 pulling. All right, I'm gonna step over this line. Okay. All right. Yeah, we got a live one. Definitely got a live one. Oh, let's see. How are we gonna get them in? Because I threw it between two rocks. Oh, this is gonna be tough. I didn't know there was rock there. They may drop off. Oh no, they're swimming with it, they're swimming with it. Oh, this is a great scenario right here. Perfect. Okay, they are swimming with it. Oh, he has still got it. So I'm just trying to see where he's at. Do I see him? Yes, I do. I see him. Crab on, guys. Oh, he's a big boy too. Got him. Look at that. Got him. That was perfect because uh, I don't know if y'all can see these two rocks in front of me. <laughs> that would have been good. He would have dropped off. So I got big boy right here. So I'm excited. We're propping him against the bush and we're going to check the basket while I'm over here. So I ain't got a double walk. All right, here we go. You know, this is always the stressful part because these fools will jump out of this metal um, basket. All right, y'all ready? Uno, dos, tres, 
cuatro, cinco, seis. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I knew it. I knew you. I knew you were going to be in there. Woohoo! Yeah. So excited. Dude, they are producing over here. Okay, I may have to make the move. Guys, they are absolutely beautiful. Oh, they're so beautiful. And what's so funny is I don't have no crabs in my freezer. So this is going to be perfect because I ate them before Hurricane Milton came and knocked out my electricity. I was like, nah, -uh, y'all ain't eating my crabs, Hurricane Milton, and defrosting them and not be able to eat them. So I ate them like maybe five minutes or 10 minutes before we lost electricity and that was the best decision ever all right let's check our basket oh so nasty around here all right uno dos tres cuatro yeah got another one guys upside down boy you turned me inside out oh round and round oop, oop. And he is a monster. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, 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 oh. oh you see that? Oh my god. <laughs> ah, woo. Oh, woo -hoo. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I thought I was gonna lose him. Oh my gosh. Alright. Whew. That was adrenaline rush. I was like, no, I am not losing this big boy. Oh my gosh. Get him all nice and clean. He is all matted up in my net, but it don't matter because he is a big boy. Look at that claw, guys. That is amazing. Wow. Wow, I almost missed him. Holy crap. Oh gosh. Okay, I gotta get out of here. He's gonna crawl out of my net because I don't got him in there securely. All right, I'll be right back. Double trouble, baby. Look at that. Double trouble, and I'm packing up everything to head to a different location, and these guys were on it. Nice. All right, guys, it is time to make a move. Oh my gosh, it is so hot. Even though the humidity is low, it is super hot. But um, I'm gonna go to the pier down the road and like crab like in the Gulf of Mexico instead of like the actual river that I'm on um, and see if I can catch anything over there. I have plenty of blue crabs. Like I've caught some blue crabs. I didn't film every one of them because like I said, my phone and my GoPro just did not charge last night like I thought they did. So um, I'm satisfied. They're huge. They're, you know, they're, I know they're going to be tasty, but I just want to catch a few more, see if I can catch a few more since it's a little bit daylight. And that daylight savings is in like three or weeks and daylight savings is on my birthday um so you can definitely tell the shift of the water is cooler um it gets darker quicker so um i can't be staying out here too late anymore which is a good thing because sometimes i'll be out here y'all just don't realize when i'm filming i get out here early and i don't be leaving till like 7 30 8 o'clock at night and then i don't get home until 9 or 10 because i'm so far away from home so it's a lot but anyways i'm gonna go over here see if we can catch anything and then if not i am gonna call it a day i am tired i have been driving a lot today it's been fun at this location so let's go check out the pier all right i went to the pier and it was just so many people out there and the water is just way too low because it's low tide and it's in the negative so i am back at another place that i always uh well not always i've been to before um and fishman mike um i think he just uploaded a video from here too so we're gonna see how good we do out here and uh yeah let's get everything set up it is super bright my goodness it ain't because i'm just like squinting at y'all it's just bright it's like really really bright All right, let's get this started. It's a double. Let's see if I can get him. Got him. Woohoo! Double, baby. Double, double, trouble. Double, double, trouble. What, 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 what? the canal but 
Oh my goodness, it's so windy. But I got a double. Woohoo! As you can see, it is super windy out here. And the tide is so low. Usually, the water be right here. Like, right here. Since it's in the negatives, it's way down. It just looks so empty, you know, out here. But, uh, that's a good start, you know, a double. And uh, I got plenty. I probably, I don't know how many I got. Y'all know I always, you know, count when I get home. So I'm guessing probably about 12, maybe 14 right now. So that's really good in my books. Um, I'm probably gonna give this an hour because uh, high tide does start coming in at seven o'clock tonight, 7.30. Um, and I want to get home because, um, yeah, I just want to get home. I don't want to be out too late tonight. Um, I want to eat. I did not eat anything today. So, yeah. So, let's get out here. Give this place an hour. And then, when I get home, I will always give you the results. All right, guys. Let's see if we got anything on. Oh, it may look like it. I did not throw my chicken that away. It doesn't feel heavy, but I do feel something pulling on it. Oh, something is munching on it. I believe, I think so. Oh, it's just a baby. Look how little he is. Oh my goodness. Y'all see him? They ain't nothing but a baby. Look at him. Look at him driving my chicken. Ooh, little boy. I'll let you go, but you a mess. Crab on guys, crab on. And he is a swimmer, and he is a strong swimmer. Oh, you gotta be so ever careful when they're heavy like this. Come on, come on big boy, come on. And you just gotta coast them in, you know, cause if you pull too far and too hard, they will let go. But we got a swimmer, and he feels super heavy, so. I'm excited. Let's see what we got. All right, get my pole ready because this is going to be a doozy. I already feel it. Either it's a double or a big crab, one of the two. Oh, I see a crab and he's big, guys. Here we go. One, two, three. Yeah. Woo! He is gargantuan. Woo! he is beautiful lord have mercy he is so, look how golden he is he is perfect for october are you an october baby because you sure shine like it how beautiful he is oh my goodness look at that zoink back out there you go and look at this beautiful baby Woo! love it you see how low this is? But let's check the basket, guys. I love my metal baskets, but these jokers, did y'all know crabs jump? Because these fools jump. So, let's get this. All right, we're gonna drop the net over here, and we're gonna pull like a madman. Y'all ready? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Oh my goodness. Yes! Got two of them. Two of them, baby. Look at them. Look at them climbing. Oh, yeah! Unfortunately, they're too small. And uh, I'm going to give them back because I've got too many big ones to just keep these small ones. So, um, this boy, he needs help. Looks like it. Oh! Oh, I didn't know he can... Oh, his knuckle is, oh no, his knuckle is um tangled. Hold on just a second. Uh-oh, there we go. Now his knuckle's not too, it's, too, it's not tangled. All right, if he'll let, well, I tried to help you, fool. All right, we're gonna toss it back out here. Make sure the lines is all nice. And there you go, leave it out there. Yo, it is so crazy how shallow this is. Like, 
I came out here before and I couldn't even walk past here. Like the water usually be like right there where the palm tree is. Wow, this is what they mean by negative tide. Like it's crazy how low it is out here. Goodness gracious. And this place is notorious for um, crabs being near the shore. So that's why I have my pole. I don't see any crabs. I have not seen any crabs by the shore, to be honest. But um, yeah, if I do see one, he will be scooped. All right, I just threw this line out, but I'm seeing tugs. I'm not sure if it's the waves or something's already on it again. So we're gonna see, or nothing was on it last time. Let's see. I'm trying to feel it with my fingers. Oh, it feels heavy this time. Dude, I see a blue crab across the way over there. I just seen him getting a fish. What in the world? I can't even get over there. And he's on the shore. Aw, oh, man. It's all right. I got to focus on over here. Hopefully, there's something on here this time. It feels heavy. I'm not going to lie. This time, it feels heavy. The last time, remember I was saying, hey, I don't know. This time, it kind of feels heavy. Oh, we got a swimmer. We do got a swimmer. Okay. All right. We got a swimmer. Absolutely. Yeah, we got a swimmer. Let's see. I knew there was something heavy on here. We just got to get them to the... Just got to get them in here. Oh, gosh. I feel like he snagged. What is going on? Is he still on there? Oh, yes, 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 yes. He's still on there. Crab on, crab on, crab on. big boy Woo! Ooh, 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 ooh. so happy look at them look at him what are these these got to be October crabs they are so pretty like I'm not understanding how pretty they are I love this so pretty oh my goodness guys we got another tugger oh we got another tugger let's see oh I feel something is it heavy though that's the key is it heavy I don't feel heaviness yet oh yes I do oh yes I do will I have a swimmer that is the question will I have a swimmer will he be big and will I have a swimmer? This is the key to get crabs, guys, with chicken on the string. You got to be patient. And you can't just pull them quick. You see how slow I am? I am slower than molasses dripping out of a jar. You got to be patient with them because these crabs are super finicky. They will drop if they feel some kind of like energy that is like tugging against them, they gonna drop. Nope, nope, he did not let go, but it's a wee baby. Yeah, it's just a wee baby. And it's a pretty little female too. Look how cute she is. Look at them. This is what you call lipstick fingers. When it comes to females, their um, claws are really red and people call them lipstick fingers. So um, you don't want to keep these, no. So she will go back. So I just wanted to uh, take a break real quick while I just threw all my strings in and everything. Um, it is just so nice out here. And I just still wanna encourage people that has never crabbed before, going through depression, going through anything personal and they just feel like they need to get out the house find something fun to do I severely honestly suggest 
trying to go crabbing. If you're able to go crabbing, I know everybody's in different parts of the world. Um, I know everybody's not near the Gulf Coast, but take a weekend, go online, see where there's crabbing, go on Google Maps, whatever you need to go to. Book an Airbnb, a VRBO, get something on a canal, on a river that has blue crabs. I'm telling you, this is so therapeutic. And I know a lot of people like, you're always out there by yourself. I am, you know. Um, I don't really have friends that like doing this stuff. Um, so it's tough. It's tough to, you want people out here with you, but in a way it's like, whatever. Um, but anyways, yeah, it's so nice out here just to come out here and relax. Um, get the thrill of something pulling on your line. As y'all know, I suck at fishing. I can't catch a fish to save my life. But the crabbing, it's just self-taught. I literally was on TikTok during my depression and crabbing was trending hard this summer. And I was like, what? I ain't never thought about no daggum blue crab. But I went ahead and got, um, you know, my nets from Walmart and you know I got my chicken from Walmart you can get like 12 pieces of chicken for five dollars and I tried it and I liked it it's not for everybody it's hot it's miserable you get ate up by no seams if you don't know what no seams is go come out here where I'm at you'll understand what no seams are mosquitoes you're sweating to death you're primitive peeing and when I mean primitive peeing, you're like going in bushes when there's no bathrooms and stuff like that. It is nasty. But if you can get past that, guys, go crabbing. It is so, so fun and so therapeutic. So that's all I wanted to share. Back to the crabbing. And oh, y'all like my Michael Myers shirt? I think I'm gonna watch him tonight. I don't like new the new Michael Myers. The, the new Michael Myers is just too much for me. I, I don't like all that blood and gore. But the 1978, like, Michael Myers 1, 2, 4, and 5, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Fine. Great. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to watch him tonight. And, uh, yeah, let's get back to crabbing. So, I don't talk y'all to death. All right, it's time to check the net. The metal basket, whatever you want to call it. Uno, dos, tres. Oh, I didn't catch nothing but a pinfish. All right, I'm gonna let you go if you just chill out. So for people that do not know what a pinfish is, this is um, how people educated me last time. They are purplish with stripes. And they kind of look like little brim. And uh, this is what they look like. So this is pinfish. They say it's really good for fishing, but I'm not fishing. And that heifer pooped on my fingers. And we straighten it out. Toss it back out there and we're good to go. Oh my gosh, guys, I tossed this back out here and it was a bad throw. So I reeled it back in. And this little guy, not little guy, but big mama, grabbed it and tried to get the chicken out of my oh, really really oh my gosh that was like the easiest catch ever oh my gosh they're so easy to catch out here like this location always is good even though this is my second time oh my gosh dude i'm gonna have hmm if I stay out here another 30 minutes, dude, I would probably have 20 crabs in here. I'm almost at that limit. I'm probably at 16 crabs. All right, get in there, get in there. Ugh, why do y'all get caught up? Come on, get in there, get in there, get in there. All right, to be continued. All right, let's pull this net in. Ugh. On the count of three. Y'all ready? Okay, one, two, three. Woohoo! Oh my gosh, look how beautiful! 
Oh, you are not getting away from me. Look how gorgeous he is, guys. He's so beautiful. It makes you not want to eat these freaking crabs because they're so cute and they're so beautiful. Look at this October amber color. Wow. I want you guys just to look at this beautiful freaking crab. Isn't he beautiful? Like the amber against the blue is just mind boggling. He is so gorgeous. I, I just, he is so freaking gorgeous. Y'all just don't understand. And unfortunately he's gonna taste so delicious in butter. But anyways, that's beside the point. He is a beautiful boy, a big boy. That will be, that will be uh, going in here with his uh, compadres. Ooh! All right. There we go. Another thing, I do not let my blue crabs flip upside down. I am not those YouTubers that are mean to them, that just step on them, that just throw them in here upside down. That's bullying. These are creatures with feelings. And yes, they are gonna be eaten by somebody, but they do not deserve to be thrown in here like rag dolls. So y'all got to stop that. If you do that and you are a content creator and you watch my video, quit treating these things like they are a nobody. They have feelings like us. They just taste delicious and butter or whatever recipe we're gonna put them in, but at least give them some dignity until they get home to your house. That is all. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a huge crab. He's got to be huge. Or there's double on here. Is there a double? Nope, he's just a big crab. All right, here we go. Yes, sir. Look at them claws, baby. Yeah. Look at them claws, baby. Holy crap. He may not be big in like his body, but them claws are banging. Yes, sir. Throw that back out there. Yes, sir. He is coming home with me. Amen. All right, guys, Beachy Bunny um, Adventures has came to a close. And this is my last catch of the day. Looks like we got a double. And they're both keepers. And this is my last catch. They are gorgeous, but I am tired. You can hear it in my voice. They are beautiful and rusty, as you can see. But uh, it's time to go home and I'm satisfied. So let's get on out of here. All right, guys, it is a wrap for today. I am getting on out of here before sun sets. I am so happy to get out of here. I done fantastic. The October crabs are beautiful. They are just absolutely gorgeous. The amber colors, they just fit right into fall. Um, I can't wait to get home clean these bad boys, show you how many I caught. I think I caught a good amount. I'm so excited about it. Um, it's not gonna be a catch and clean, I'm sorry. I'm just too worn out for a catch and clean. I'll probably just find something on the way home. But I can't wait to show you guys, so stay, oh, I'm sorry, so stay tuned. Hey, hey, I am back at home, and as you can see, it is dark time, and it's like, barely almost eight o'clock so you know time daylight savings is coming um i will um go ahead and add in the crab number right here in the corner you know you country if you got a box fan in the window when it's nice and cool outside i love fresh air in my house so and i live way out in the country so i don't be worried about the boogeyman um climbing through the windows or anything like that so anyways i had a great time today um i can't wait to get these uh crabs cleaned and in the freezer 
So I'm going to get off of here. I just want to let y'all guys know, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Thank you for the support. Um, I met um, a new person today and they subscribed to the channel and um, they moved, I think, from California to Florida and they were out like scouting, you know. Um, but yeah, thank you for um, liking my channel and subscribing. So I am going to get off of here. You guys have a great week ahead of you and I will see you on the next adventure. Wow.